Hi, my friends. Today we are talking about the iCopy concept in Inventor. It can be used uh, on many occasions, one of them being the field of architectural constructions like this one. I also placed human silhouettes, yes, to give you an idea of the proportions with this construction. If we take a tour, we see what is this about. Yes? Very interesting, of course. As always, uh, many ways can be used to achieve this particular construction. However, using the iCopy concept is one of the most effective. Let's see what is the procedure and uh, be careful with uh, every step. We start by creating uh, the environments, actually these two uh, plates. plane is uh, x, y, and we draw a rectangle, which has uh, the midpoint in the center point, and an arc between these two ends, like this. First dimension is very large, 25 meters, 25,000 millimeters. Home, the radius of this circle is 22,000 millimeters. And uh, this dimension is uh, 6,000. Good. We can delete this uh, line and we apply a constraint. Finish sketch, extrude. 200 okay home or f6 this is the first uh, plate the next one is placed at a distance of 4200 millimeters up we draw here another rectangle which has appropriate dimensions. We project lines from the other sketch to make collinear the new rectangle on its sides. We draw an arc again with a radius of 30,000 millimeters. The dimension is uh, 3000. We can delete this line and we can apply equal between the sides. It's the same thing. 
and we make these two lines as construction lines. Finish sketch, extrude 200 as well. This plane is no more necessary. And the last is a curve placed in a plane at uh, 1000 millimeters from the ceiling. This is the floor and this is the ceiling, yes? To have names for them. I create a sketch in this new plane and I project only this line F7 to and I make it construction line to create an offset of 2500 millimeters. The last thing here is to place on the same vertical ends of the arc. This plane is no more useful. I apply dimension visibility to have no dimensions here and I make something at the final. I create a sketch here F7 with these two lines construction lines and another sketch up F7, rotate, which has only one line, normal line, finish sketch. What do we have here? Here we have three rails, one, two, three, and a path will use them to generate that structure. We apply material concrete with aspect uh, warm gray. Yes, to have a texture like uh, uh, concrete for the two plates. This is uh, uh, the floor and this is the ceiling. We save, we save it under the name target PT because it is a part and we close it. Then we create an assembly where we place grounded at origin. We save this under the name target assembly assay save now we have a, a target and we need to create a subject for i copy the plane is uh, xz but in a specific position this one where we draw a triangle keeping control pressed we don't risk to make some lines 
perpendicular or uh, constraint anyway. I want to place a great dimension here, 4000 home, and I delete it in order to uh, be at a scale. Finish sketch, F6. This sketch must be adaptive and uh, it must be as an export object, you know the derived part. We need to apply this specific option and then we place points at each tip of this triangle. We save this uh, object as a frame which is a part PT to uh, remember. Save. Close. Next we create an assembly where we place the frame anywhere escape and uh, we identify it this object which is free not uh, constrained we constrain it to be on the three planes from the origin. The constraint is uh, mate flush, not mate mate. YZ on YZ apply. XZ with XZ apply. XY with XY apply. We make this as uh, an adaptive part. Then I activate the tool I copy author, which is uh, uh, present only in uh, the assembly environment, not in the part environment. And I see uh, dialog box without any tab. If I select the object, we have other tabs here. The first, geometry, asks us to select the endpoints of each tip of this triangle by assigning a name to each one. This is the bottom. The next is upright. And the last is up left. Then, okay, as you can see, a new object is present in the browser. I copy definition. We save this under the name frame sc. Save. We agree to save both. And now we have all prepared. We open the target, target assembly, and then we activate the tool I copy from this panel, which asks us 
for the frame assembly. As you can see, we have to identify this uh, triangle is now present here and we have to select which end of each rail corresponds to each point. Bottom is uh, this one. Yes. Up right is this one. And up left is this one. Okay. They must be in the end plane, all of them. In other words, all four starting ends of the rails must be in the same plane. Yes, this is the first condition. We go to the next tab. We select, you see, we are waited to select the path. And you see this plane, which is really the end plane of the construction. Then we have to mention how many triangles to be created. 26. And what is the offset? The offset is 1000 millimeters. We know that this is 25 meters and the offset is 1 meter. So uh, adding 1 at each end there are 26 as you can imagine. Next. Next we have uh, proposed a lot of uh, new elements which are to be created and they are created as you can see. Yes? A lot of them. I uh, apply perspective to see better the situation as it was in the picture I presented before. You see? If you want I place also a silhouette here. This one only one which uh, can be constrained with its face on this face apply and with uh, a line the bottom line on the floor Okay, now you have a, a possibility to imagine what is the scale. Good, and uh, what next? Next is to uh, select each line from here to create, to generate frames uh, using uh, what I presented in a tutorial the tutorial 141 okay how to do this I go to orthographic I I save this for the moment Yes, to be sure about uh, the components. Okay, we have to wait a little. Or uh, a while. 
there are many elements, components there to be saved on the disk. I select design, insert frame, square rectangular ISO 160 with a wall of 6 and I am expected to select lines 1 2 ok frames with names ok other names you know from frame generator look back to the tutorial number 141 and step by step frames are added as you can see to see better we go to view object visibility nothing to be presented and also neither surfaces sketches that's all we don't want to see all the details yes now i come back to perspective and as you can see we have a number of uh, frames placed on each line here of course you have to apply a notch or miter to uh, make end treatments let's apply this uh, miter to these two objects okay and you see now they are uh, okay you have to do this to all frames here Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.